Okay, this video is not going to be exactly what I wanted it to be because I've spent the last hour or so trying to decrypt a couple things. It seems at the media event last night, basically, um, they pulled a fast one on us. And there were 18 exhibits, and apparently there is now listed that there was something posted on the page that said, Advisory AE091113, an assessment exercise. Okay? So, this started everything. It was a picture of one of the items, actually one of the scents of fear. And the scent of fear it was, was decay. Well, it's interesting because... It was posted in an effort to assess the investigatory and research capabilities in the Southeast region. Provost Lee A. Belung authorized, issued, and executed the strategic placement of 18 separate... Wow, long day. Evidentiary? There we go. Communications within displays presented last evening. The immediate event that I just mentioned. Each contained an encrypted message, and the combination requires analysis and comment. Upon discovery, review, and analysis, successful operatives are instructed to share conclusions and learn more. Basically, they're trying to get us to learn and learn how to decrypt these cryptic messages. I actually am going to go to something real quick. So, I haven't been able to decrypt them all yet. Um, I'm actually slowly but surely working on them. Actually, I'll get to that right now. Collective. So basically, this was posted on the collaborative, the unofficial Legendary Truth discussion uh, forum page on Facebook. And this started everything. And I do mean everything. So, like, for the last several hours... I have been talking about things, and oh my god, I've been looking at this stuff and trying to piece it together. Well, I've come up with a couple of uh, things, actually. I will bring them up in just a second. So, yeah, if you hear that ding go off, you know that that's uh, Facebook telling me you have a new comment. So, there's a couple of things. First off, we have 12 that are confirmed, 3 that are unknown, and 6 unknown locations. So, what we do have confirmed, Afterlife, Death's Vengeance, the electric chair of Bobby the Blade, corresponds to Alan Matheson Turing. Havoc Derailed is the gauntlet of Havoc Derailed. It is Max Newman. Cabin in the Woods facade is Friedrich Kasiski. The facade of Resident Evil, Escape from Raccoon City, is Charles Babbage. The cell block from The Walking Dead is Blase de Visionaire. We'll, we'll go with that. An American World from London's Piccadilly is uh, August Kirkshoff. We'll go with that. Uh, La Llorona's uh, facade is Johannes Trithemetheus. And uh, the scent of decay is Bailey Whitfield Whit Diffie Hellman, which is Diffie Hellman, apparently. And uh, Claude Shannon is the scent of rot. The scent of exhaust, the scent of gothic, and the scent of swamp are not mentioned yet. We've also got both the Bill and Ted, uh, the girl from Game of Thrones, and Django. We also have uh, Rocky which would be Frankenfurter and Columbia. Don't know which one's there. And uh, this actually was posted by a very, very intelligent person by the name of Kelly M. Sparks on the Ahura Unearth Facebook page. And it goes exactly like this. Uh, Turing was a famous cryptanalyst. Wow. He was also famous for his study of the chemical components behind one's life force. Kasiski was a cryptographer, Babbage an originator of the programmable computer, also a cryptographer, Visionet was a cryptographer, Kikoffs, of course, a f take a wild guess, Alberti, 
you know it. And Trometheus, and he was a cryptologist and an occultist. Diffie Hellman, public key cryptography. Max Newman, cryptographer, worked with Turing, short stint at Princeton. Okay, so basically what we're looking at here is through Legendary Truth, we are trying to find out names of famous cryptographers. And that will help us in our field mission, which starts opening night, September 20th. Now, I don't have anything further than that. I've been actually trying to look at this pretty much all night. That's the reason it took so long to get this video out. And I'm sorry it did, but I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm trying to get the most, like, up-to-date information I possibly can. Like, this is a big day. It really was. I mean, Jim Ross is now retiring from the wrestling business today. And... I really wanted to do another video tonight about my opinions on the Halloween Horror Nights 23 experience on the uh, street experiences on the houses themselves on the two shows. But you know what? Didn't end up working out because I've been trying to decrypt this for the last hour and a half. So, basically, all we know is this. They're all famous cryptographers. And if you go to Wikipedia, I have a list of a lot of cryptographers. So I have a feeling that the rest of these comments are connected to the list that I've got here on Wikipedia. But who knows? I mean, who knows where we're going to go with this? This is what it's all about, folks. This is literally playing detective. This is decrypting the cryptic messages from Legendary Truth, which will help us when we finally get in the parks on the 20th. Now, I do know for a fact that it's not just going to be electronic, as I actually mentioned in pretty much word for word. It's actually going to be a lot more than that, and it's going to be a lot more, like, intensive than it was last year. And I was not able to play uh, the Horror on Earth uh, game. Actually, uh, I did see it on the side when I was leaving the park. But I was soaked from head to toe. I was very angry. So needless to say, I didn't pay attention. I should have, but I did not. And oh, by the way, uh, if you're curious, I am a Moore fan. Big surprise there. So um, we'll find out more information as we go forward with these cryptic comments from Legendary Truth. And like I said, I got my official schedule for my final schedule before I leave on next Thursday, a week from tomorrow, actually. It's going to be awesome. So, needless to say, I will be doing a Halloween Horror Nights video in the next uh, couple of days. And I'll talk about my opinions on the street experiences and the houses, my anticipation for the ride, the, the rides, the uh, all the experiences from all eight houses and... Uh, I can do what everyone else does. I can rank them. And we'll talk about that from someone's perspective that's not as into this as every one of you are. So I am just trying to provide the best content I can. Uh, not very much to say about this. Um, here we're getting an opening ceremony, but if you're an annual pass holder going to uh, the pass holder event at 5 o'clock, uh, not going to happen. So um, I'm probably going to miss that. Which kind of sucks, but I figure it out uh, when we get there. Um, a lot of pictures were released tonight about Evil Dead. I actually got to see some uh, pictures from the Evil Dead house. Looks really good, actually. And uh, all the houses look amazing this year. Uh, like I said, the one house that I've not seen anything for is the Cabin in the Woods. And uh, I'm looking forward to, and I'm very nervous about seeing uh, more information about Cabin in the Woods. So come Wednesday, when we have the official cast, or should I say, team member preview, you will uh, probably get some more information from me. So uh, let's talk about what's going on for the rest of the week. So tomorrow, we have, uh, of course, Impact Wrestling Presents No Surrender. So we're going to talk TNA Wrestling tomorrow night. Friday, AJ's Movie Reviews is going to be uh, The Family and Insidious 2. That's going to be taken care of on Saturday. Actually, we are going to be posting um, another video 
Uh, usually we do the verses on Sunday. Actually, we're doing the verses on Saturday this week. And that's also going to correspond with a new NXT and SmackDown recap. Uh, the verses this week, Cryptic Comment, is Headlock. So I uh, try to decide for that. We have AJ's movie reviews again on Sunday this time. And we're going to be reviewing Eighth and Body Saints. Austin Land, and The Spectacular Now. So that's going to be taken care of. Monday we're going to do Raw, and on Tuesday and Wednesday got some new content to come out, and uh, two new verses coming out while I'm in Orlando. So I'll take care of that. So in the meantime, uh, I hope you guys and girls out there enjoyed the video, and uh, props to all the Horror Nights updaters, all the really, really awesome people that I have not met in person yet, but hope to see in person at... Halloween Horror Nights 23 next week. Uh, obviously, Admiral HHN, HHN Trogdor. Um, I'll even go with uh, HHN Legacy, and uh, even Mystic Freak, and Dr. Jimmy. And it's going to be awesome to hang out with the Tim Tracker, Tim and Jen. Uh, it's going to be really awesome to hang out with them. Obviously, props to Psycho Masker Films, and uh, was it Deadly Fear? i got to find it here. I'm sorry if I'm not saying it right. I apologize. Let's go to my subscription list. Yeah, Deadly Fear 1283. And obviously, I want to talk about other people like UKHHN. And want to talk about, obviously, my boy Vic, Dr. Emmett Brown 1. And uh, all the other really awesome uh, Halloween Horror Nights updaters that are all over the YouTube. Obviously, I want to talk about Nathan HHN. And I think I covered them all. Let me see if I did. Yes, yes. And sweet, I did. So all of you, you're going to be awesome. And I continue to watch your videos. Hopefully you continue to watch my videos. And uh, we will be uh, hopefully meeting up in one week from this Friday. So, uh, or Saturday. Or I'll also be there on the 27th. So um, in the meantime... If you like these videos, leave a comment, do subscribe, and uh, tell your friends about Pop. And if you want to contribute to Pop in some way or another, you can send me an email, sirowendisney at gmail.com, or you can tweet me if you want to uh, tweet me, very simple, at sirowendisney. Facebook, very simple to friend me. My birthday is next Saturday night, the uh, 21st of September, so uh, birthday wishes will be accepted at Owen Disney on Facebook and, of course, on my Twitter and an email as well. In the meantime, thank you guys and girls out there for watching, and until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I gotta say about that.